Have you ever heard of the phrase, life is like a game? Now, I'm sure you have, but there's a far deeper meaning that saying has. And to explain to you further just exactly how a video game can transform your life, let's take a trip down inside the mind of a video gamer. Now, when a normal person has a goal, they always have challenges that hinder them from reaching it. And most people actually give up from that goal. But with people who play video games, they can look at any challenge, villain, monster level, and think that it's just in its way of beating the game. This is why parents, teenagers can play video games for four to five hours, because their mentality is to beat the game. And they won't stop until they do so. Now, you're probably asking, what makes me so knowledgeable what happens inside the mind of a video gamer? And that's because I was one. I was a student who played video games a lot. You could say that I was an average 13 year old who played video games, had friends, and maintained good grades. I was this person until the lockdown started. You see, I started off good. I had straight A's, maintained the balance between game and school, and stayed in contact with my friends. I was getting comfortable with sitting in my house and snacking on chips all day, but maybe a little too comfortable. I started to slack off. I had friends over every other day, and sooner than later, I wasn't doing good in school. My grade went from an A to a B to a C, and it was not until I failed a test in geometry that it was rock bottom for me, as I was the always one a good grade in school, and it was never something I had to really worry about. So one day after I finished all my classes, I went to co-play video games again. At this time, I had a really big test to study for, so I knew I had to study. So I'm sitting in my chair, looking at the assignment, looking at the due date, and <sighs> heave a huge sigh. Homework wasn't something I could do for two hours. I wasn't determined like I was whenever I played video games. With the video game. You see, whenever I go sit down and play video games, I can play for two hours. Whenever I go sit down and do my homework, I'm hopeless. But what makes these two events different is my mentality. What if, let's say, my homework was a level, the test was a boss level, and getting a good grade in the class would be like being in the game? Now I could do my homework with ease, thinking I'm just one step closer to being in the game or getting a good grade in the test. I realized that homework was a video game. Just a really, really, really bad one to ask for the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> all in all, my willingness for a video game helped me have a willingness for school. If you wake up every day thinking that every obstacle is just a challenge, then your determination would skyrocket. No matter how big or no matter how little, if you find something that you're willing to give your all at, then use that mentality for something that troubles you. Thinking like a gamer helped me maintain my grades, and I did end up getting a good grade in that class. Not everyone beats a game, and not everyone gets a good grade, but in the process of using things that you truly desire and truly passionate about, and using that mentality for something that troubles you, just might help you beat the game of life.